So a big part of my working life has been the design of the Kids Teaching Kids Learning Model. It's a peer teaching learning model and I designed that over 20 years ago and have refined it during that time. Interestingly enough, this peer teaching model is applicable right across the board. So we had the pleasure of working with the Melbourne Arts Centre and applying that to their adult employees. And guess what? It worked just as well. It has huge impacts for your employees in terms of engagement, in terms of well-being, all of the things that we want to drive in our business. What we learn about peer teaching is that too often we bring in the outside consultant who's there for three weeks, develops a strategy, and then as the CEO or director, you wonder why this strategy isn't being picked up and really lived as part of the business. When you look at good educational philosophy, what's really clear is that there's many, many things that back up what makes good teaching and learning, and we should apply that in our businesses. For example, only 5% is retained through lecture, the old traditional way of telling people how to do things. In the learning pyramid, as you work your way up to a much higher level of retention, 90% of knowledge is retained if we teach others. So, based on that stat alone, and there's so much more research that backs this up, you need to make more room in your business, your organisation, whatever your project is, for your employees to be teaching each other and vice versa. The benefits are huge, the knowledge retention, the engagement as I mentioned, and that feeling of ownership that comes from being in charge of your own teaching and learning in the business. You've got to tap into that resource that you have right there in front of you, instead of always bringing in that outside expertise. So peer teaching and learning, if you're not doing it already, we can teach you how to do it.